We're gonna analyze Berkshire Hathaway as an investment, and we're gonna do it all in 90 seconds. You wanna keep up with stocks, but you don't have the time to read a lengthy report on every company that interests you. You're busy, I get it, I respect that. So I took the most important considerations for my research and I packed it into 90 seconds. You can use this to decide if it's worth your time to research further, to keep up with stocks you already own, or to just check in with some of the largest companies in the world. To vote on which companies we cover next, go join our private Facebook group. The link is in the description. A fair warning, I'm obviously gonna go fast, so adjust your playback speed now as needed. Let's put up a clock, let's do this. Berkshire Hathaway engages in insurance, transportation, and utilities, and is of course run by the famous investor Warren Buffett. As of this recording, BRK has a market capitalization of $523 billion and a price per share around $211. To own or not to own, that is the question. Here are several reasons you might wanna own Berkshire. Let's start with the metrics from the most recent quarter. Q2 2018 revenue rose by 8.6% over the same quarter last year. Berkshire Hathaway's Q2 revenue of $62.2 billion also beat analyst consensus by $261 million. Operating earnings rose by 67% from $4 billion to about $7 billion year over year. Q2 2018 net earnings distributable for B-class shareholders was $4.87, up from $1.73 over the same quarter last year. In addition to these metrics, Berkshire Hathaway is sitting on an enormous pile of cash of $106 billion. This month, Berkshire's board of directors gave more flexibility to Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, saying share buybacks could happen if the couple could agree that they were repurchasing shares at a market price below Berkshire's intrinsic value. This means share buybacks are more likely in the long-term future, ultimately returning more of the money to shareholders. But here are some reasons to not own Berkshire. After these Q2 2018 earnings, share buybacks seem unlikely in the short-term future since the company reported great results. But the biggest concern going forward is probably with Buffett himself. Although Berkshire Hathaway is still showing market-beating performance, we don't know how long that'll last with Warren Buffett being 87 years old. Buffett has assured that passing the torch to Ted Weschler and Todd Combs is one of the best moves Berkshire Hathaway will ever make, but handling the founder's retirement is never easy for investors. The new management's vision may not align with the founders. So what do you say, buy or no? Can Berkshire Hathaway continue to outperform the market at the rate it has even after Buffett is gone? I look forward to continuing this discussion in the comments below. And if you found this helpful and would like to see more of these 90 second analysis videos, don't forget to check out our private Facebook group. Like this video, subscribe, click the bell so that you can keep up with all the companies we cover as we continue to help you build your rapidly growing, highly diversified net worth. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.